This episode of Epicenter Bitcoin is brought to you by Hide.me. Protect yourself against hackers and safeguard your identity online with a first-class VPN. Go to Hide.me slash Epicenter and sign up for a free account today. Hi, welcome to Epicenter Bitcoin, the show which talks about the technologies, projects, and people driving decentralization and the global cryptocurrency revolution. My name is Sebastian Couture. And I'm Meher Roy. Today we are going to talk to Junia and Pascal, who are co-members of the New Network. For people who have never heard of the New Network, they have a currency called New Bits that is pegged to the US dollar. So one New Bit is equal to one US dollar. And this peg has held true for the past one and a half years. So it's, it's sort of a long running price stable cryptocurrency and we want to walk through how this works. Before we get started, let's have an introduction from Julia and Pascal. So this is Julian, a core member of Newbits, and um, I've been involved in the new network for more, more than two years. And before that, I have been uh, interested uh, in uh, cryptocurrencies in general, particularly in the uh, peer coin, peer shares, and uh, Litecoin also. Um, uh, as a as a businessman, I'm an entrepreneur also in Japan. I've been running my own. Uh, for seven years, and also I'm helping uh, ventures to, 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 to get funds. But uh, uh, I've always been interested in, uh, in um, finding the whole uh, bank's work and um, how to, uh, to, to, uh, to access money much fully. And uh, I think you is, uh, is well on the very efficient way. And, uh, yeah. All right. So I wouldn't have much to add because, you know, I'll accept that the fact that my name is Pascal Hidigamonik and uh, I have been involved with Newbit exactly the same as Junia. And we are running the, you know, the business together, so I wouldn't have much to add regarding that, except my, my name is different. Yeah, also, um, you know, the, one of the big issues of, uh, of new because they have also, we have also issues, is that we don't have much, many uh, public evangelists, because, uh, like you said, uh, uh, many, uh, most, most of the members are um, anonymous, um, and uh, we decided to, uh, to come out, to contribute as a, as a public face. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, the new network, uh, the new community basically uh, came out of the peer coin community, right, which was one of the early uh, communities that Kind of pioneered proof of stake, and there was there used to be a uh, founder of Peercoin, Sunny King, who used to be very influential in proof of stake circles at at, at one point, right? So, who is the founder of the new network? Um, the founder is, uh, is someone called Sunny uh, uh, and and uh, it's uh, probably a, a person, but we don't know for sure. It could be a, a group of people too, and um, he. Uh, came out uh, in 2014 uh, officially, but we, uh, he also appeared on, the, on some, uh, some forums, uh, Bitcoin talk forums in, in 2013, and uh, he originally wanted to create um, the templates uh, to, uh, uh, to, um, to create, uh, for, for, that enables people to uh, raise funds uh, and to create uh, basically companies on the blockchain. So let's let's walk through kind of uh, how how uh, new bits uh, how the new network works. So uh, give us a brief overview of uh, what the network aims to do and uh, the basic com- core components of, of of the network. Basically, so new is uh, one of the one of the first uh, decentralized autonomous organizations. So you have shares like all the new shares. Uh, when you hold those new shares, you can mint, and by minting, you can contribute to the security of the network. And uh, the products is called Nubits. Uh, it's a stable cryptocurrencies uh, right now pegged to the US dollar, but uh, we have plans to release other pegs like yuan, euro, SDR, and maybe other products that are not necessarily related to stable stable cryptocurrencies. But yeah, right now. US dollar peg. So 
in in this uh, it's 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 funny that you well it's interesting that you that you call it a decentralized or autonomous organization. I I hadn't particularly looked at it that way. Can you explain to us how, in your view, uh, the the new network is a DAO? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, basically, shareholders are uh, you know scattered uh, around the world, and we don't know each other. Uh, and uh, and um, despite this fact, we can uh, you know uh, create a company and uh, organize ourselves and manage the companies and, and you know making proposal and voting for this proposal in a totally decentralized way because uh, the consensus uh, is. Uh, is uh, you know uh, everything is voted on the blockchain and so uh, the, uh, it's trustless, decentralized, totally. Yes, okay. we, we don't we don't have any hierarchy. We don't have any CEO. We don't have any managers. We, we just have shareholders and the, we decide motions and who to uh, who, who to send money to. That's, that's it. And we using the blockchain to en encode. Uh, Embed okay, and so the well, this is interesting because I mean, last week we had on Stefan Tual who talked to us about the DAO and how the DAO accepts proposals. Uh, but maybe we can come back to that later and, and talk about analogies between those two systems. Um, so in the new network, we have, uh, as you mentioned, uh, a currency that is currently pegged to the US dollar. We have new shares, which are uh, the shares which um, uh, allow for the um, network to either uh, add liquidity or remove liquidity and so therefore allow for the peg to stay stable and uh, at, at one US dollar. Um, and then there's there's PeerCoin. Can you also explain how PeerCoin, uh, what role PeerCoin plays in this in this system? Yeah, in the original white paper, Piercon is used as a way to distribute the dividends. When you sell new bits, you have some proceeds in the form, you know, in the form of bitcoins, and then uh, you know you would distribute dividends by buying peer coins uh, based on the bitcoin that you have. So there is a mechanism to distribute the uh, dividends inside the client. Uh, you can get a list of uh, you know Nusha's uh, addresses and. Uh, you, for for each new share address, you have uh, you can generate unique Peercon address, and uh, you would you, you would distribute the dividends. Uh, the system would di distribute dividends based on the quantity that you input and uh, the number of shares that you have, the ownership that you have in the network. So let's say that there is one one hundred thousand dividend to, div to to distribute. If you have a one percent, you would get one percent of the of the dividends in in the form of Peercon. Okay. So let's let's go through the peg mechanism. Can you uh, ex explain how the peg mechanism work, how how it works, and you know, maybe walk us through an example scenario of uh, you know shares being sold. Uh, so w one one uh, interesting analogy that Mayher brought up uh, before the show when we were just discussing is the body temperature analogy, which I thought was really interesting and hadn't really looked at it that way. When when you when when you're cold. Uh, well, you you shiver and then you get hot again, and when you're hot, well, you you sweat and you get you, you your body temperature sort of stabilizes. So, how do uh, let let's let's walk through the peg mechanism and how those those different uh, uh, okay, uh, cool. components cool. of the system interact. Okay, let me try to use this in, uh, comparison. Uh, but basically, uh, you know, the, the peg cannot be you know uh, you know uh, uh, created inside the blockchain. So it is created. In the market, so you have to provide liquidity in the market to maintain the spec. And so basically, you have to set up very big wall. I mean, relatively big uh, sell and and buy uh, walls in the markets. And so basically, you know, you have like uh, you could have a, a big wall of fifty thousand uh, bitcoins buying uh, new bits and a uh, wall of fifty thousand, you know. Uh, Newbies being sold, right? So, and at a, at a very very tight peg, a very high, uh, sorry tight spread. So, basically, you have that on several markets, and those liquidities are uh, pro are uh, provided by uh, people that have an initiative to do so. Uh, they are called custodians. Mm -hmm. 
So those casinos need to have a contract with the shareholders to get a reward if they do what they, you know, what if they provide, if they maintain the peg at a tight spread. So, so the basic concept is uh, one, one, one new bits is equal to one US dollar. And uh, the, way, the way the buy wall and sell wall works is there are a lot of people called custodians, quote unquote, that are ready to buy new bits if the price falls below one US dollar. So say, let's say the price falls to 99 cents or 98 cents, then you can sell your new bits to these custodians, right? And there are lots of them yeah. and they can spend a lot of Bitcoin to buy these new bits from you. So that means it's like a, they, they form like a wall, like in an exchange order book. If you if you look at it, uh, there's lots of lots of people wanting to buy at ninety eight cents, and that kind of looks like a wall in the exchange order book. So that's like a buy wall, right? And on and on the other side, if the price rises, uh, price of new bits rises to say one point zero one or one point oh two cents, um, sorry, one hundred and two cents, right? One point zero two dollars, then um, then there's a lot of people that are willing to sell uh, new bits to to a, to a user right so if uh, so that's like a sell wall now because a lot of people are willing to buy at 98 cents and sell at uh, at sell at uh, 102 cents the price kind of uh, uh, automatically goes and stays between these two va values and that is that is the peg right this is this is the major mechanism right uh, there is no meaning to try to sell at uh, i mean to buy it uh, uh, to buy uh, at, sorry there is no meaning for example to sell at uh, 1.2 because you would find no buyer there was there would be always someone that would be selling on one on one dollar right uh, and uh, on the opposite side there is no meaning to try to to see uh, to uh, buy at uh, Try to buy at, at 98 cents because uh, there will be you will never find any seller at this price because you can always sell at one dollar. So you, you, you don't you don't have uh, you don't you, you, there is no no way that uh, the thing can fluctuate. So the, the the custodian buys and sells these new shares from and new shareholders. New, new, new bits, new bits. Okay. Then who are the shareholders? As like uh, relative to the custodians, who are the shareholders? Uh, it, it, it can be the custodians themselves, but um, the shareholders, or um, it can be anybody, anybody that uh, has uh, has uh, invested uh, money into new and that uh, thinks that uh, new bit would. would 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 maintain its peg for for a certain amount of time. So new has uh, value for them. And they are, they have decided to invest. So they are called uh, new shareholders, and uh, they have their own new shares. Okay, are, and and, and so also partners for. And so you mentioned that uh, that custodians provide liquidity to the to the to the market. Um, yeah, where, because they are then. Yeah, so they're putting up they're putting up uh, large large amounts of Bitcoin to provide liquidity to the market. Yeah, 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 because okay. they have an incentive to do so, right? Right, and so where are these markets? Are you talking about exchanges, or are, are these markets organized by 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 the new network, or on, no, no, are no, they on exchange, exchange. Or? On exchange. exchanges? Okay, like uh, the main one would be Polonex right now, but we have also BTR and also uh, like yeah others other ones. Okay, so so in in a sense, uh, the way we could think of it is uh, like new uh, new is like a distributed autonomous organization. There are a bunch of shareholders that you can think of as the owner of this organization. The main the main product of this organization is a price stable cryptocurrency. That's new bits. That's your product, right? Now, um, now for 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 the product for the organization to work, you start to need employees of different kinds one of the kinds of employees that you need is what is called a custodian right yeah you can see that in that way if you want yeah now the job of the custodian is to provide liquidity and help maintain the peg of new bits 
inside uh, different exchanges like Poloniex, Beter, etc. Right. So uh, walk us how this employee custodian, why does he do this job, right? Like uh, what motivates him to do this job? How does he make a profit out of this activity? Uh, yeah, so at the beginning, you know, one year ago when we started, uh, the custodian were uh, basically single individuals that, you know, uh, got an approval from the shareholder. So he had to, or she had to write a contract and she, she would say, I, or she would say, I want this kind of this amount for this liquidity for this kind of duration. And if he could or she could uh, get the reward upfront or later after, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, doing his job or her job. and. So uh, and in that case, if it's later, and the shareholder would have to judge if the job would have been done or not. So this person, let's say that uh, uh, is uh, ready to provide, uh, uh, you know, 20,000 uh, 20, bits of buy side liquidity on Poloniex for like 10% a month. So he would get or she would get 2,000 new bits for this uh, job. He would go or she would go to the Poloniex and maintain this and run the bot, which, call, which is called new bot, uh, the trading bot, right? Uh, on on the buy side uh, uh, of the of the pair uh, NPT BTC, right? And if and the new bot would maintain the peg uh, automatically, you can uh, uh, you know specify a lot of parameters. You can uh, specify, for example, the, the spread. You can specify uh, when do you, the limit. You know, uh, if you don't want to uh, go over one, uh, five thousand uh, new bit, you can set set up this kind of some parameter. So, uh, but the 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 bot will make sure that the the, the spread is very tight. If 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 uh, if the proposal uh, uh, contains uh, include this uh, this uh, uh, this condition. Okay. So let's let's just let's just walk 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 through this one, right? So assume 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 like let's play some roles, right? Let's say uh, the two of you and Sebastian are shareholders of of the new network, and you, the three of you are the only shareholders. We're just making a thought experiment, right? And now I'm I'm going to be uh, taking the role of a custodian, mm -hmm. right? So uh, when I when I'm the custodian, my job is to open an exchange account on Poloniex, right? And then uh, offer buy buy side liquidity. So that means I need to put a lot of buy orders for uh, ninety eight cents or ninety nine cents, right? Yeah, ninety nine. Yeah, ninety nine cents. So, I'm 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 going to go to Poloniex essentially and put a lot of buy orders at ninety nine cents. Right, whoever wants to sell at ninety nine cents can sell to me. Now, um, now, to in order to put these buy orders, what I need is U.S. dollars at Poloniex or Bitcoin at Poloniex yeah, exactly, or some yeah. some other as asset apart from new bits exactly, inside yeah, Poloniex, yeah. right? Yeah. So what, at the beginning it was it was US dollar, but now it's bit Bitcoin. Yeah. So who gives me this Bitcoin? Uh, it's your so at the beginning uh, it was uh, it was your own money. You could have your own. You could I, I mean two possibilities: your your own money or the money or from uh, the company the, the new right. Okay. So so then it it could be my own money. So let's let's work with the possibility that I put my own money. So I. Let's say I have I don't know a hundred BTC. I I I I put I put this to contribute buy side liquidity, right? Yeah. yeah. Now now what what happens is let's say the price falls down one of these days and I end up selling my hundred BTC and buying a lot of new bits, right? Uh, yeah. You you mean that there there are a lot of uh, sellers of new bits, right? Okay. Yeah. Let's say let's okay. say let's say tomorrow I I start doing this job today for the new tomorrow. new DAO. Yeah, and then tomorrow the price of uh, the price of new bits falls, and therefore all of my orders get filled. Like lots of people sell me new bits for ninety eight cents or ninety nine cents, and I now own a lot of new bits instead of Bitcoin. Who do I give these new bits to? What do I? Uh, yeah, do you, yourself. You have to keep yourself. Keep it yourself. It's uh, in the contract. Uh, if you're. Uh, it's uh, uh, no. Uh, you can. Uh, you run. Uh, it's a dual side. Uh, okay. Bot. So. Whenever you uh, you sell, you have to. Uh, whenever you sell your bits, you have to to put them uh, in in buy side again. So it's um, it's a zigzag uh, uh, operation you have to do uh, all the time, and that's we uh, that's what we call the, the dual side uh, bot. 
okay, okay. So, so what that means is um, now I, I enter a lot of buy orders at say 99 cents, right? And, uh, and then once I get new bits, I also enter sell orders at exactly. 1.01 1. 1. new bits, mm. right? So exactly, exactly. There is this, this, the spread is your profit and, uh, and you make money with that. Okay, and, so uh, you make money, uh, money for you, and uh, you can also uh, own uh, a bit of this money for for shareholders as dividend, but it's basically your, your money as a custodian. Ah, uh, okay. So, so basically, my, my my job would be to put my own money at risk, right, and then own a mixture of Bitcoin and uh, new bits, and enter a lot of buy orders at say ninety nine cents, a lot of sell orders at uh, 101 cents and then i and as new as as new bits fluctuates i make a profit on on this spread right that is my, exactly. my, my business model yeah okay buy orders at one dollar minus uh, the uh, transaction fee uh, from the exchange and uh, sell order at one dollar plus uh, plus the uh, trading fee so, okay. so it's uh, zero yeah like you said Let's take a short break to talk about Hi.me. You know you need a VPN provider to protect yourself against those nasty hackers trying to steal your private information. With Hi.me, it couldn't be easier. You just install their application on all your devices, iOS or Android, log in, and you have a cushiony, cozy tunnel in which your data can move freely and unencumbered, all the while protecting you from those mean old hackers. Now that's boom. To sign up for the free plan, go to hi.me slash epicenter. The best thing is when you use that URL, if you ever go premium later, you're gonna get 35% off and premium comes with unlimited bandwidth, using up to five devices at the same time. You can use all their servers worldwide. You can pay with Bitcoin. And best of all, it comes with a feeling of peace and satisfaction, like having tea with the Dalai Lama. We would like to thank Kite.me for their support of Epicenter Bitcoin. Let's come back to this, uh, this, this idea that we were mentioning earlier, that, that new is a DAO and that custodians make these proposals. So, so, so custodians propose to bring liquidity into the network and, and, as, uh, and, and, and for shareholders to make dividends on, on revenues that they may generate from providing liquidity. Can you explain how a custodian would make a proposal in the new network and, well, and yes yeah uh yeah so yeah one one thing first of all is that you know most of the liquidity now is provided by uh liquidity pools because it's kind of like a tricky to uh, time consuming to make a proposal and make it pass when you have no uh, trust inside the community at the beginning one year ago uh, it was like single side uh, single individual but now it's pool managers that pro provide liquidity and you can contribute to the pool by Putting your money without any, without you know, uh, introducing yourself to the community. So it's much better. Now, we can have more for liquidity uh, quickly, more quickly. But the principle would be the same. You would have to make a proposal. And you would say to, you would have to say, you know, as I said earlier, how much liquidity you are uh, ready to provide for how much, uh, how many days, and for and, uh, what, uh, what spread, and uh, and also for how much reward you want for that, right? Some people would ask for 5%, 10%, depending on the pair. I used to be a, a custodian uh, on the uh, NBT USD pair on CCEDK, which is a Danish uh, uh, exchange. And uh, I think I remember I put 5,000, uh, uh, 50, uh, sorry, 5,000 US dollar of liquidity or buy side, I mean dual side liquidity. And uh, I asked maybe for 10% at the time because it was kind of risky. And, you know, but now it's not 10%, maybe you would get like, uh, I don't know, uh, two, three, four, five percent, but not more. Okay, so the liquidity pools uh, sort of act, because it's proof of stake, you know, rather than having proof of work, sort of, uh, uh, if you compare it to mining pools, like mining yeah, pools, yeah, you yeah. have proof, you have you know, computers generating hashes for this, this pool that sort of centralizes it into one place and, and, and maximizes their chances of winning. Uh, on, on the proof of stake side, you have a liquidity pool, which does the same thing by you know, gathering all of this liquidity and, and, and having stronger proposals, I suppose. Uh, yeah. 
let's let's focus in on on this on the proposals themselves how does a custodian or liquidity pool which is a a, a consortium of custodians uh, Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. submit a proposal to the new network and how do the shareholders vote um I'm I'm asking this question because we we just we just had an episode with uh St- with Stefan Tuel from the DAO and or from Slocket and we we spoke about the DAO and and how uh and how that system takes in proposals. I'm interested in in seeing how uh, the new network uh orchestrates this uh this uh, proposal um acceptance. Yeah. Okay. You so but you can make any proposal, but uh, you know proposal for liquidity pool is one type, one instance. But uh, the principle would be the same. Uh, you would, uh, as I said, like put your conditions in a piece of text, and you could ask for uh, money upfront or uh, later. If it's upfront, usually people would just uh, indicate the new bit address and with the amount, and and the people, uh, this person would ask, please vote for this amount for into this address. And if they get or she gets 50, more than 50%, then uh, uh, the blockchain will automatically uh, uh, put the money inside the address. But if it's uh, after doing the job, then uh, he would ask or she would ask for the money later on. But so in this case, uh, he would just ask people to vote for hash, the hash of the of the text, mm. which would be and people would uh, I mean voters, shareholders would put this hash inside the client, and if. Uh, it gets uh, more than 50 percent, then uh, people would regard that as passed, mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, there would be a consensus that people would say, okay, now now it's passed. We have to re- uh, if the job is done, then we'll have to uh, you know uh, uh, give him or she uh, her the money. Yeah. Okay. And be- be- before elaborating this uh, this uh, motion or proposal for cost- uh, custodianship, uh, the, uh, the the, the the, she or he will uh, will uh, try to get the most consensus from the uh, from everybody, and um, and will try to refine uh, the, the, the text, the proposal before hashing, and uh, uh, it will depend on the, how much she, she will ask, uh, the, on the conditions, if, if it's risky or not, how, how much it will bring to the to, to, to new, etc., etc., and then. Uh, once she has decided it's okay, uh, she she she, uh, she hashes, and then uh, put that to on for, for vote, and um, yeah, and um, if yeah. it's uh, successful, and, uh, she has the, the money, yeah, or the yeah, or the motion passed. For, for her, for her. But uh, so this kind of proposal is not uh, enforced; cannot be enforced by the blockchain. There is other types of voting. You can vote for, you know, as I said, okay. like hmm? okay. a piece of text ah, okay. it cannot be enforced by the blockchain. It would be just like, uh, uh, how do you call it? It would be just we have to keep the words, right? Okay, so it's an order system. Yeah, for for this kind of uh, proposal, but we have also we can vote for you know new bits issuance, uh, interest rates, and uh, transaction fee. All these kinds of is can be enforced by the blockchain. And so custodians are, but by definition, they can be they can be anonymous. They can be pseudonymous. They can be totally identified. Uh, I suppose if you're a liquidity pool, like you you know who your who custodians are because you're dealing with a liquidity pool. If you just have like one person with a lot of Bitcoin that wants to provide liquidity in the um, in the network, they could choose to be anonymous. Uh, how does that play in so? Basically, what are, are custodians usually uh, anonymous or pseudonymous? I mean, if if uh, yeah, most of them are anonymous. They are all anonymous. Yeah. Most of them. Um, oh yeah, pretty much yeah. Most so of them. yeah, except me maybe I was I used to. Yes, be. but yes. Yeah. So the where where does the trust come from then? I mean, if if you're a custodian bringing in liquidity and and these uh, agreements can only be uh, they they can't be enforced by the blockchain and can only be sort of built on this other yeah, system. Exactly. Well, yeah, how does that work? Um, the, I mean, we, so we don't, uh, we don't trust, we don't have to, to put trust in the sense that we don't uh, check uh, back, uh, the background or affiliation. But, but yes, um, so like you said, if they are not, uh, not trusted, how do we uh, enforce um, anything? 
um, they had their reputation as uh, shareholder. They had their reputation as Costilian. They, they don't want to uh, harm that in any way. Um, so if uh, Costilian uh, receive money and get a, uh, go away with, with that, uh, it will, uh, will harm uh, the, the reputation. Uh, for forever, and um, we it, it, it didn't uh, no question um, ever did that mm -hmm. because you know uh, we have the it's notion of reputation. Yeah, it's part of the culture of the new because yeah, you know the uh, yeah. founder is anonymous. He he uh, created the new shares uh, and distributed them. We don't know exactly uh, how is the, the distribution, which is very important for proof of stake, right? That's so. Absolutely, we, we, it's a business. It's not, uh, you know, um, a scam or, or you know, um, um, or anything like an uh, initial coin uh, offering. It's it's really a business. We don't. We want to, to provide value. We want to make business. Mm. As uh, all, we are all business partners in the in this sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, so so that's 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 one section of uh, of the control mechanism, right? Like, so um, so the so the way the way we could we could kind of frame 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 this part of the discussion is like like Sebastian said, uh, you can think of the analogy of uh, body temperature, right? Like you have something yeah. like a okay. core body temperature, that's thirty seven okay. degrees inside the core of the body, and then if the temperature goes up then uh, the body has uh, has two different control mechanisms when the, when the temperature goes up what the body does is it, it sends all of the blood from inside to the outside so that the blood can basically uh, convect out heat out of the skin and then the other thing the body does it it sweats so it does two different things and these two things the combination of these two things brings back the body temperature core body temperature 37 degrees from 41 so you said same way like in 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 new uh when once a price shoots above one dollar there, there'll be a, like a sell side wall and that will bring bring it back to uh uh to a dollar now but that's not the only mechanism right there are other kinds no, of mechanisms yeah, yeah. and what exactly. are what are these you, you want me to answer that yeah. yeah basically we have indicators but one of the biggest indicators is the as i said the, i mean in the liquidity the state of liquidity inside the client you would have in real time how much liquidity you have on the buy side and sell side let's say that it's very imbalanced we have like 100 uh, k us dollar on the sell side and 20 20 k on the buy side that means that uh, people are selling a lot of new bits and uh, very soon we'll, uh, we don't, we will not have any more bitcoins to buy those new bits and the peg would be lost in that case we have to replenish the buy side so we would just like basically basically unlock uh, uh, unlock uh, uh, Bitcoin from the other t on the on for, from the other tiers that are uh, at the, on the bottom. Yeah, and we have like six tiers of uh, like uh, like this. Okay, so once once the once uh, either of these two sides don't have enough liquidity, somebody else is going to give money or assets so that the liquidity can be uh, built again, right? Balanced, right? balanced again right like so who yeah. is this somebody and uh, yeah yeah what do they do yeah, good question. So right now, it's every, uh, there's, there's nothing automatic right now, which is very you know uh, can be a problem. But uh, so, uh, so we have uh, several tiers like tier one, tier two, tier three, uh, and tier one is the liquidity on the market. So if uh, so, if if there is an imbalance, then people will try to get liquidity from the bottom tiers, like uh, maybe a tier two. Tier two is the liquidity that is on the market, but uh, not on on order, right? So uh, you can get liquidity from there. From there, if it's not enough, then he would uh, try to or she would try to get liquidity from tier three. Tier three is the, the liquidity. Uh, uh, you could be in new bits or Bitcoin uh, 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 sitting uh, outside the exchange in, uh, in addresses that are controlled by the custodian. If it's not enough, then you would, uh, you, uh, you, she or he would have to access the tier four. The tier four is the uh, usually it's, uh, some uh, it's some fund that are used for uh, de development, or it could be the dividend, the, you know, the, uh, the dividend money. He, she or she uh, could get money from there. If it's not enough, then uh, we'd have to get to tier five. Tier five is the manipulation of interest rates, which is what we are doing right now. 
if it's really not enough, then we we have like uh, like uh, for three months, four months, we have like huge rate and and it does uh, and you know liquidity, the buy side is not balanced. Then uh, we'll have to go to get to tier six. Tier six is the uh, which is burning on the on the buy side or uh, just issuing uh, money on the sell side. Yeah, and burning meaning that you would have to issue new shares, new new shares. Mm. You have to sell that and get from the proceed. You would uh, buy back the new bits and burn them, for example. Okay, so so uh, let's let's quickly review like these two final ones, tier five and tier six, because 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 okay. because they're, okay. they're different from 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 the top. So the the way I, the way I think of tier five, uh, which is. Um, it's it's the case that if say let's say the demand for new bits is a lot and the price shoots up to say 110 cents 1.1 dollar then uh, the new network the new blockchain can create new new units of new bits like just as bitcoin creates new bitcoin every 10 minutes they can create new units of new bits and then uh, push these new units of new bits into into the market right yeah yeah right exactly yeah. and on the other side, if the demand for new bits falls below one, it goes to say, let's say 90 cents, the price goes to 90, 90 cents per new bit, then uh, then what does the blockchain do? Uh, yeah, we, we would have to, uh, in that case, you, for, if it's really, really catastrophic, we will have to uh, issue new new shares. But let me just like point out, point out that we cannot tor- allow uh, the, the peg to be lost. So we cannot see uh, 1.10 or no, 0.90. If it's uh, that we will have lost the peg, so we will just see the imbalance of the imbalance of the liquidity. So we will see that like we have like 100k on the buy on the sell side and 10k on the buy side. Then we'll we'll have we'll start to really hurry a lot, and we will um, and we have a, a monitoring tool for that. Yeah, I say that, which, yeah. which is called Alex. Uh, yeah, uh, that uh, yeah monitors in um, in real time. Yeah. But right now, nothing is autom- automatic, so shareholders will have to, some shareholders will have to look at that and, 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 and lock uh, liquidity, like the float team, for example. Mm. And the float team uh, manages some from some fund in BTC, and when we see that in this um, in Poloniex, the it's very unbalanced, like uh, buy side is very low, then we'll have, we will uh, you know unlock uh, liquidity by signing uh, some transactions. And it would be very time consuming right now. Uh, yeah, but yeah, the floor team is paid to monitor in real time and to open open uh, wallets to 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 get to get funding, uh, okay. new funding for, for for on the walls. But they have to work on real uh, every you know twenty four hours a day mm. for that, mm. and they are paid for that. Yeah, a bit, so, little bit, yeah. Yeah. So the key key takeaway that I, I the key message I hear is uh, that. If 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 there's not enough people wanting to buy new bits while the price is falling, then uh, the blockchain will create new shares eventually, right? Uh, yeah, this is the last the last result. And liquidity is so yeah, like you said, it's all about liquidity. Yeah, the price is, it has ne- never fallen. Yeah, we cannot tolerate that. If it would be regarded as a failure, total yeah, failure yes, of the yeah. business. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay, so even 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 if there's there's not enough liquidity on the buy side, then. The blockchain will create new new shares. Give it to a custodian, right? Custodian yeah. will sell these new shares on the market yeah. for Bitcoin, exactly. and then use that Bitcoin to uh, to provide buy side liquidity, right? And exactly, that is how exactly. the price stabilizes back. Right? Yeah, if you yeah, yeah okay okay. Yeah, and we never did that. We uh, we never had to do to do that so far. Uh, okay. okay. We just uh, used uh, recently parking rates at IO five. Yeah. And uh, yes, that's that's it. Yeah. Up, up until this uh, this level, yes. Mm. Uh, so okay. right now it's like sixteen percent. Uh, mm-hmm. One month, two months, three months. Yeah. Uh, uh, when uh, I'm, 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 I'm talking about annual interest rate, mm. uh, 60 percent if you pack pack uh, or a bit. Yeah, we have to do it. we have to do that because we don't have enough reserves right now. Uh, yeah. That's a, yeah, that's a difficult term, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. we have some reserve which is which is allocated in tier four. Yeah. Usually we use that to replenish the buy side, but we don't have a, um, uh, many right now, so we are using tier f- uh, tier five. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. So we hope that we can sell uh, we can sell new new bits. 
And with those proceeds, we will, uh, need, we will be able to replenish the tier 4. Then we will be using the tier 4 to maintain the peg. Today's magic word is liquidity. L-I-Q-U-I-D-I-T-Y. Head over to letstalkbitcoin.com to sign in, enter the magic word, and claim your part of the listener reward. Coming back to new bits, uh, the currency, we've talked a lot about the system and, 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 and how it maintains the peg. Let's come back to the currency. You know, it, it is a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. It, uh, you know, obviously, there's many uh, advantages to using crypto- to cryptocurrencies. Um, and uh, well, my, my question is, so who, who are the new bits users? Uh, are, are we talking about you know, Bitcoin users or, or is it a different breed of people like are there any businesses accepting new bits that kind of thing nah, nah, i think it's uh, we don't know for sure statistically but uh, it's obviously i think uh, uh, speak, um, traders traders uh, uh, crypto traders that uh, that want to speculate on uh, on crypto assets and they use uh, they use um, new bits for as a hedge as a hedge uh, token they, they are the, the main ones yeah, and very recently uh, we can see also people that uh, start using Nubit to just get the interest interest rates. Uh, ah, yes. They park them to get their interest rates just for that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm using also personally uh, Nubit for um, uh, uh, international uh, transactions, J- just to pay some developers uh, for, for my web, uh, web stuff, but I don't know if, uh, if others do that. So what you're saying is that uh, new bits is used. Uh, so yeah, because when you're tra- when you're trading, uh, you know, cryptocurrencies on on Poloniex or something like that, you don't want to keep your um, you don't want to keep all of like your USD assets on an exchange uh, because that can be risky. So people you know will transfer it over to uh, a new bits wallet so that they yeah. can keep their liquidity. And then when they want to start trading again, they you know buy bitcoins and and they can st- or any other cryptocurrency and they can. Um, sort of keep their money in in the cryptocurrency world, meanwhile protecting themselves against the volatility of you know, most other cryptocurrencies. Yeah. Okay, but exactly. I mean, it, it seems to me like there's an obvious use case here, which like, so in Bitcoin, people have been talking about it. I guess you know before uh, before people started focusing more on blockchains and uh, the whole how the ecosystem kind of shifted. But you know, in 2013, people were saying, "Yeah, Bitcoin needs to be a payment network. Like, you know, we need to you know, like encourage businesses to accept Bitcoin yeah, so absolutely. we can we can use Bitcoin as a cryptocurrency to pay for things." Uh, and one of the major issues, and myself, and I'm sure Mayor and Brian as well, and you know, a lot of people evangelizing here, uh, when, when we go to businesses and say, yeah, you should set up a Bitcoin wallet, well, the first thing that they say to you is, well, there's the volatility. Um, it seems like Newbits is solving uh, that that problem like pretty eloquently, uh, elegantly, sorry, uh, then why do you think it hasn't taken off as an alternative to Bitcoin as a payment system? It's liquidity. We... It's the, the peg has been uh, kept for more than 20 months now, perfectly. Uh, we, I think we have a robust system to maintain peg, uh, very decentralized, very distributed. We, we just have to, we, we just have an issue of liquidity. Uh, right now we have 700, about 700,000 uh, new bits in circulation, but only uh, uh, about 130,000 new bits um, as liquidity in, you know, in in exchange, and um, we want to scale. We want to uh, to have uh, to, to be to, to get bigger than that because it's it's not enough to you know, to, to to get uh, to, to be used as a as a as a as a tool for international uh, transaction system. So the, the the issue is liquidity. We have to. To, to have liquidity um, walls much bigger than that and uh, and as we scale the liquidity walls we, we will be able to to have uh, more um, uh, nibit in circulation and uh, the ratio between the nibit in, in circulation and liquidity will uh, will um, get uh, smaller and smaller like like the, for example, the US, the US dollar, uh, if we take the example of the US dollar, 
um, the ratio between the waste dollar in circulation and waste dollar in um, in exchange is, is like zero, like it's less than zero dot one percent. So um, we we want to, to get into this level. Oh, that's that's a big dream, but. Um, we want just to have liquidity, much more liquidity than that. To okay. Be used. Yeah. And uh, to that, for that, we uh, think we 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 have to develop more robust system, perhaps more automatic t uh, tools of liquidity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe another reason is that I think that uh, you know uh, so. The most use of and uh, the, the most use of crypto cryptocurrencies are not are not the average Joe, right? So they are like they are like people that have like some ideology or libertarian, right? So and those people they hate the fiat money. They hate so oh, yes, so for them it's very difficult for use new bits. So we had to focus on on the hedge the head the hedging the hedger for, uh, among those libertarians. Yeah, we have a. A lot of criticism, as uh, you know, from from Bitcoiners, that supremacist oh, yeah. Bitcoiners that be believe that you know fiat money is is is, is uh, disgusting. So Nubit is also disgusting. Yeah, because uh, yeah. But yeah. but Nubit is not a fiat money. Like you you peg it to a fiat money, yeah. but only for practical exactly. purposes. Um, so they don't want to see that. They don't want to see that. So. So you're you're yeah, saying that uh, Julien, you were talking about liquidity. So one of the barriers then is that the the infrastructure is not uh, well currently. I mean, especially you're working on that, but the infrastructure is not currently um, scalable enough to handle like if to handle that liquidity. Like if tomorrow someone came in and just brought like I don't know like you know a thousand Bitcoin or maybe more of liquidity into the system. It, it wouldn't be able to sustain it. That's a good question. Uh, I think we would be able to handle it, but we need much more, uh, you know, uh, uh, automatic automatic processes to unlock liquidity when it's needed. So we need to to, to establish that before uh, going to the next level. Mm. And also, we have also, you know. All our liquidity is stored in a uh, uh, centralized exchange. We have last year we had four hacks or three or four hacks at the same time. We uh, we were very very it was a catastrophic uh, situation because we lost a lot of liquidity. So now that, that's why we we we, we the founder of uh, Nubit is also now create I mean uh, creating a decentralized exchange to store all this liquidity in a very secure way. We 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 also this. Voted for that. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, yeah. Without our consensus, he didn't. Yeah. Wouldn't, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The money for that. Yeah, yeah. This exchange is uh, uh, half of the shareholders or new shareholders, so it's it's a sister sister project, and we need that exchange to have uh, low, I mean, low cost liquidity and a very secure way. We don't have that right now, so it's difficult for us to to go to the next level. Okay. But it would be released in six months or something like this. And. I'm curious what would what 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 how would it unfold if uh, let's say the U.S. dollar's um, exchange rate starts to act erratically, like if we start seeing important fluctuations in the U.S. dollar's uh, uh, foreign exchange rate with say the euro or you know, other first first class first tier currencies, how would new bits? Um, React to that? How, how would, would the peg be maintained, or would there be some problems there? We, we will still be pegged to the. Uh, I mean, are you talking about uh, a, a, a very disruptive change in the in, in the value of the US dollar against the the euro? Um, yeah, for example. The, yeah. The, for example, uh, we still. I think. We still be pegged, right? We still be pegged. Uh, yeah, but but uh, but pegged. but yeah. If the value of the dollar is, is decreased by fifty percent, we will have like lost fifty percent, right? So we we all, although we think that this uh, you know scenario is very unlikely, uh, it could happen. It might happen. So that's why we are looking. Uh, we are also interested in other pegs, as a yuan, euro, SDR, which is could be even more stable. 
but some people are also proposing some kind of like inflation-free US dollar peg, for example. We are thinking about that. Some people are thinking about that. So basically, if the US dollar is not working anymore, we'll uh, have to peg to something else, and it would be relatively easy as, as long as we have some kind of data feed, uh, data feed to, to get the price of this instrument. So we can uh, peg to anything. Basically, okay. but you, we, just choo uh, we just choose the US dollar because it is the, still the most uh, used uh, currency in the world or something, yeah. Okay, and so you, uh, I, I think you're working on creating a peg for euro, great British pound, and some, some uh, other no, currencies. No, uh, uh, yes, uh, SDR and uh, euro. Okay, so walk us through how the initial new shares and new bits will be allocated then, for instance, when the, the euro peg uh, is, is, is initiated. Yeah, basically we'll have to find someone that uh, would, uh, would be ready to provide liquidity on this. Uh, on side. So let's say that uh, exactly the same mechanism as the US, uh, the new bit, I mean, the, what we call the US new bit, which is the new bit called uh, peg to the US dollar. So someone will make a proposal, I will be providing uh, 100,000 K of liquidity on this market for this amount and uh, for over, over like of this amount of time. So he would get, she would get, uh, let's say, 100,000 uh, 100, uh, euro new bits, uh, and she or she would sell that. He would sell that on the market and mm. and, and, and brand the dual side vote. Yeah, absolutely. Sell and immediately buy buy back the uh, buy back the, the, the new bit with the proceed. Yeah. Uh, in in dual side, so that uh, we have uh, two two holes, sell side, uh, sell side and, and buy side. Yeah. That's what basically what we did with the USD. Yeah, uh, yeah. it takes some po a portion of the uh, for to distribute as dividend. Mm -hmm. So w one of the big applications you mentioned for new new bits as the as the first market is the market for hedgers, right? Like yeah. Sebastian yeah. said, um, why not go for a consumer payment network? He said one of the first big markets was the market for hedgers. So explain to us how, how it works. Like, why why do these hedgers need new bits, and what are what are they trying to achieve with new bits? Well, basically, the the when they speculate. I mean, I'm not a hedger, so I'm not exa I'm don't, uh, I don't know exactly what they think. But if they think that the Bitcoin price will will go up, uh, they, I mean, let's say that they have they they have some new bit because they just as a as a start, right? So now they think that the Bitcoin price will go up. They will start to sell this new those new bit for Bitcoin, right? And if they think that the price will go down, they will start to buy more. For example. Yeah, I mean, and another use case is, if it, for for instance, uh, you know, this is the secret to, to no one, but Epicenter doesn't have a bank account. We hedge some of our funds in in gold uh, with Voltoro. You know, another alternative would be also to hedge it in, in new bits. I can see how a Bitcoin only company uh, could protect themselves against volatility risk. Some people do that. Yeah. So yeah. Some people, some yeah, some people they ask for uh, suddenly for fifty thousand. I want to buy fifty thousand new bit. Uh, how do I? Can I do that? So some people do that. I mean, sometimes it happens, especially especially last year when Bitcoin price uh, started to fall down quickly. Yeah, right now it's uh, relatively stable, so we don't have so much demand for new bit. So it's, it's basically the problem. When Bitcoin is not volat volatile, we don't, we don't do uh, so much business. Okay, and do you th so the block size having is coming up uh, pretty soon, and there's some mixed opinions about what would happen there. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It may be that the price you know, may drop uh, significantly. Or are you seeing uh, some increased demand because of that, or people coming to you and asking uh, how they can purchase a, a, you know, a lot of new bits to, to hedge their bets uh, against Bitcoin? Right. Right now we don't have uh, we don't I don't I haven't seen any people asking the, these kind of questions. But we there is a thread on the forum that uh, in which people were uh, like uh, thinking about what would happen with the housing. So we are we are trying to prepare for that as well. But uh, I'm not uh, you know I'm not uh, involved so much with that right now. So I can't answer. Um, we're also interested, uh, perhaps, in the, in the volume of uh, Ethereum, ETLs, ETLs, sorry, because of the volume. Yeah. We want to open new, uh, new, new, new pairs, new yeah. pairs, uh, USD, uh, US uh, new bit uh, ETH yeah. for that, just because 
Yeah, I mean, there are some people, some, some traders on this pair that would be interested in new bits. Mm. Yeah. 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 I guess. Okay, so uh, are, there, are, there any, are there any other interesting products you're working on? Like as a, as a new community, any interesting consumer products that, that we might look forward to? Yeah, so like you said, the blockchain chain exchange that, uh, yes. that, that is uh, spawned from new. Uh, basically, the, pretty much the same structure, except that we, we add some new features. So it's an exchange. We use the same template, but voting, uh, versions, uh, custodian, um, but we, we, we add new things like um, uh, reputation voting, uh, mm. like, uh, non, um, as, what, what kind of asset we want to have on, on it. Mm. And uh, it, it has been uh, very, I mean, uh, quite uh, popular as a topic on the, on the Bitcoin um, talk. Yeah, but we, we the thing the relationship with Nubit is that we we Nubit will be regarded as a thin, synthetic dollar inside because it's a decentralized exchange, so there is no possibility to uh, man, uh, handle uh, fiat money. So we think that it would create a very good demand for Nubit. Mm. And, and, and so now the cost now the cost of the, of liquidity. Yeah, because Nubit would be the main the main the basis pair the base pair mm. in this inside this exchange. So this is the, maybe the most uh, you know promising project that we have. But in, as a, a consumer project, I mean, we have like the new Droid, which is the uh, Android wall, uh, wallet for Nubits. This is the one, maybe the most uh, one of the most uh, you know uh, you know uh, how do you call that uh, the easiest way to to access Nubit, for example. Uh, or we have also new Lagoon, which is also. Uh, you, you you basically you put Bitcoin. I mean, it's, it's kind of chef shift for Nubits. We have the, also that. Okay, so this decentralized exchange is based on a blockchain, or it's um, exactly it's yeah. Every, is in new new blockchain itself? Is something running on top of new? Blockchain? No, no, it's 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 a fork. It's a fork of Nubit. Yes, uh, of new. But I'm using Nubit because Nubit is a kind of a marketing term. But it should be. It should uh, strictly speaking, it should be new. New as a decentralized as a uh, autonomous organization. But people call it Nubit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yes, this exchange will be running inside the blockchain. So all the trades will be, uh, you know, managed inside, so, which is very innov innovative. Okay. And when, when do we expect this kind of decentralized exchange to yes, come to, along? Uh, uh, from th three to six months from now, I think. Mm. So where can people uh, get more information about Newbits? Uh, Newbits.com, uh, the forum, discuss.newbits.com. Uh, would be the main two. Uh, Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And in particular, the uh, discus dot uh, yeah. Yes. We are welcoming any, anybody that can uh, have an interest in the Nubit and just contribute, uh, even anonymously, of course. We don't have any problem with that. And, uh, yeah. Okay, and we'll have links to all of that and, of course, the white paper in the show notes. So thanks, guys, for joining us today. Uh, it was a Thank fascinating you discussion. Thank you very much for your time and uh, hope that you, you have enjoyed the interview, as we have, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, uh, you guys. Thank you very much. And thank you to our listeners. We release new episodes of Epicenter Bitcoin every Monday. We're, of course, on the LTB network. You can find lots of great shows and content about Bitcoin, blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and decentralized all the stuff uh, over at uh, letstalkbitcoin.com uh, you can also find us on itunes soundcloud youtube or wherever you get your podcasts uh, and your favorite podcasting app and of course if you want to leave us a review uh you know leave us a review anywhere you like and send us an email at show at epicenterbitcoin.com and we will send you a t-shirt and some stickers so thank you so much and we look forward to being back next week